Hey guys, welcome to my installation tutorial for Jojo Gan. And in this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to run Jojo Gan and train it on your local Windows machine. And yes, today I'll be showing you how to do it on my fork version of Jojo Gan. And if you want to refer to the original one, you can click on here and it'll take you back to the original repository. And I'll only linking my repository down in the description. And so let's get started. The very first step is to set up the environment and we're going to be using Anaconda. So if you don't have Anaconda, you can download Anaconda here. It'll take you to this link and just press download and everything on default installation. And second, you want to download this repository. So basically you choose a folder where you want to create, um, I mean, download the codes. So I'll have one under my tutorial folder. I'm going to name it Jojo again. And then you can either use git clone or you can just manually download it, which I think is probably the most straightforward way. And you can just drag and drop. And since the folder name is kind of long, we're going to rename it into a shorter name. You can just make it into Jojo again, again. So you can click into it and you can see all the, all the files are inside. All right. So step one. You can just go to your search bar and type in Anna and then Anaconda prompt will come up and open up. It will look some something like this. You want to copy the very first line Conda create dash and Jojo Python equals 3.7. Why here? Because I already had the environment and you want to press proceed. So right now we're creating a virtual environment and we're going to set up this virtual environment. So later on, we can just activate it and then use it. So right now we're just at the setting up part. So you will now want to enter Conda activate Jojo. So you activate the virtual environment. And next you want to change directory to where your codes are located. So mine are right here. So you can just click on this file path, copy, go back to Anaconda prompt, type in CD and then paste your file directory, press enter. And then if you're on a different disk, like mine is on F, you had to type in your disk name and it will switch to the proper disk. And well, okay, second step. Um, we have three different options here. For 30 series, for non-30 series and CPU only. I have not personally tested out CPU only, but if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, you'll probably have to use this one. So mine is step two option one since mine is a 30 series, so. This is, this depends on your hardware basically. Okay, after that is done, we can go to step three, which is pip install-r requirements.txt. All right, after that is done, we can go to the next step. Hi, by cloud from the future here, I have changed this into dlib equals 19.20 and make sure you have pip install cmake separately. You have to make sure you install this first and then this. And last step, conda install dash c conda forge ffmpeg. All right, so now we are done setting up the environment. So next time we want to run this model or run these codes, you just have to activate Jojo again and you don't have to do all these steps. And okay, now we're getting into the checkpoints. We need to download these checkpoints. These four are all necessary checkpoints so you need to download these four just click on this one i think it takes you to go drive yeah okay so since i already have a copy i'm gonna just use my copies so it's stalkin 2 ffmpeg so you, oh yeah um here here's a model structure you can refer to so this is root which is here you can see all these files which means you are at root and you want to create a folder called models and here you can see it models and inside models you want these files okay so you have four necessary ones right all right it should look like this inside your models folder and these pre-trained style models are optional if you want to use any of these styles that, that are trained already you can just download them i'll just show you i'll just download one it's jojo.pt. Actually, I have one. I'm just going to copy and paste. Um, next. Um, to evaluate a pre-trained style model on image, which is one of these pre-trained style models, um, you just have to follow these instructions. 
So what we need to do is to create a folder called test input. Uh, it's, it's, it should be here already, actually. So where you want to put your test image, you should put it inside here. Let's just do one quickly. So it's going to be python evaluate.py and then it's going to be image name and model name and seed and device. So model name, you don't need to add the path. You just need the model name. So and here, jojo.pt, you just need to enter jojo. So you just copy this for the image though, you need to add the, the following like PNG or JPEG or JPG and paste it here. And you probably have to wait for around 10 seconds, uh, more, more than 10 seconds. All right, now that it's done, you can just check it results and you can see it here. Okay. <laughs> and here, if you want to evaluate a pre-trained model on a video, all you have to really do differently is to um, put a, a video inside your test folder. So let me show you. Um, four or five inches higher if, if, that, if it was... Okay, we need a shorter one. Four or five inches. Okay. Four or five inches. Perfect. So, all right. So let's do it again. Um, evaluate video.py all right so it's gonna break down each individual frames and it's gonna um, evaluate on each individual frames okay now i finished putting all the images back together so you can go to results and you can find the mp4 file yeah it saved every single um frames you can delete them you can leave them but it'll just put it back together as an mp4 without the audio okay with that um but yeah that's how you evaluate a video and next i want to show you how to train a custom model so basically there are quite a lot of parameters so you can see all the explanations here i'm just gonna go over real quick i'm just gonna show you a custom custom training so here you just go into style images i gonna just remove all of these and then let me use this statue and we're just gonna train a custom model so model name you just give a model name uh and just name your model and then iteration 300 is roughly enough and preserve color you should have it on false that means it'll preserve the style images color sometimes it's good sometimes bad but usually it's bad <laughs> so you should make it on false copy and paste, and then it will just look for any images in the style folder. And then it will train a model that will produce this style, uh, this kind of style. All right, so after you finish training, you can evaluate the custom model. So just do the same thing. Just gonna try this. And then model name, you just change the model name to the one you just trained. So it's custom here. And you use the same input image same seed all right so you can go to your results folder um where is it here see custom it's it didn't train well i think it kind of it kind of didn't train successfully that's why it looks like this but mm, you get the gist of it um actually let me just train a sketch model just to double just to make sure that it works properly so i'm gonna just put this here just train a sketch model. Sketch. All right, let me evaluate real quick. All right, let me check my results. Sketch. All right, it works. If it trained not long enough, sometimes it'll preserve a bit of the color. So, okay, next. Um, it's slightly different. Um, this is called uh, force training. So when a style image cannot be aligned, which is they cannot recognize the facial structure, force training is good for that. This is how I trained uh, the, the the Titan image. So the colossal Titan here. This is how I train it. So what you have to do is if you want to force train the character or something a really easy way is to go to okay any photo editing software you drag and drop any of these and then what you have to do is to make sure that um the 
the image that they cannot detect a uh, face with, which is like this colossal titan. You just have to make sure it aligns with the face at the back. So here, you have to see the eyes are aligned with the eyes. The mouth is where the mouth's at and the ears are where the ears are. You usually have to resize it. So if you get an image that's like slightly smaller, you have to resize it and to make sure that facial structures are aligned with any of those images are in the style images aligned. After everything is aligned, you can export this image drag and drop into style images aligned every image inside style images aligns need to be png and then you go back here okay so you just copy this command enter colossal but it should be colossal.png that it's referring to so here make sure make sure no file extension is entered but make sure the image inside is a png and you press enter and after that is done you can evaluate like any other images and models so if you want to evaluate just use evaluate.py if you want to evaluate videos evaluate video.py so we just refer back to the previous sections okay you can check it at the results folder okay it worked yeah okay thank you guys for watching and if you like what i'm doing you can consider support me through my patreon or just head over to my main channel and subscribe there yeah i'll see you guys in the next one